Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here, coffee, all of that. I am cranky because it was supposed to be cooling down, but it's not. It's going to be hot for another week, and this is really, really getting to me. I mean, I had seen light at the end of the tunnel, had a few cool days, and then boom, it's back to the middle of summer again. I don't know why. God is testing me. I, I, I'm not questioning you, God. I'm not. I'm just trying to figure it out, okay? Um, it is just, it's awful. Um, I'm cranky. I'm in a bad mood. I don't want to do anything because every time I go outside, I feel like I'm going to collapse and I can't breathe because of the heat and humidity. Uh, and it's supposed to rain today, so the baby chicks are inside and they're going crazy. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do today, so I'm just going to have some breakfast. I got to get a nice breakfast in me, and then maybe, maybe my mood will improve. My beautiful breakfast this morning, that's cowboy candy on top of my dream cheese, the last ball that I had with the herbs on it, and two of my pickled eggs. They've been pickling for, oh, 48 hours, almost, almost, so I'm going to try one of these first. Mm. Oh, very good flavor. Oh, that is a perfect brine. Mm -mm -mm. So delicious. Oh, my gosh. I already know the cowboy candy is delicious. I had some last night just on plain crackers. I ate half the jar of one of those little ones. So that one's falling apart. Let me try this one. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys, this is the best cowboy candy I've ever had. Better than I made last year. Oh, love it. Mmm. I had to turn the sound off because Seth was playing some awesome music in the background. We are in the process of dismantling their old chicken coop and they built part of it underneath of there. So we're just going to take this all apart. I'm going to help as much as I can and they told me that I could take as many of the materials as I want. This may not look like much to you, but it's a whole lot to me. Uh, we've been breaking down that coop. I got some chicken wire, a couple nesting boxes. Those uh, pallets I picked up from Tractor Supply. Um, this was the door to their coop, and it's still intact. It's got the screen. I just need to reattach it. Some of uh, plastic sheeting, a bunch of these boards. Look at that. Look at that. Those two things. Those are pretty big. And I got some more boards down underneath that. And I'm going to go back and get some more. A couple trips later, and I've got more chicken wire more plastic this whole thing that was uh covering the top of their chicken coop and some more wood so yeah i have got lots of materials to build i don't know something i am in a 100 percent better mood than i was this morning being able to get out and do some work and actually be kind of useful. Yeah, I, I did some things over there to help them. It started raining. So we kind of scrambled to get the sides up of their new coop and we got a tarp over it. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to finish it today, but they did say when it's all finished, I get to film it. And um, it's, it's just brilliant. You know, Seth and Selena, they just know how to build stuff, you know, and they gave me so much materials and Mr. Lucas gave me so much materials and I just, oh, I appreciate it so much. I needed it. I absolutely needed it. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of raining and it's going to rain some more. Um, I am like, I'm dirty. Yeah, look at that. I got, I got dirt everywhere. I, I got my head wet because it was just so hot. Um, it is cooling down a little bit now, but anyhow, um, there's my boy. He's just happy now that I'm home. He is. Yep. All the chickens are doing just fine. I got home and one of the baby chickens, not not the tiny baby chickens, but the um, 
the other smaller ones, uh, one of them got out and I was able to capture her and put her back in. And I was worried that all the rest of them and a few of the others had gotten out, but no, they're all accounted for. So I'm just going to take a rest for a little bit. I'm going to get a shower and, um, I don't know how long it's going to rain. <laughs> Who knows? A delivery just came and I got my phone case. And I got my chick starter. So my chicks get to have actual chick starter. <laughs> They've been eating layer feed and that's not really all that good for them. But So I'm going to put this phone case on the phone. Here it is, you guys. That's the back part. This is the front part. It gives me a dust absorber. I don't know what these are for. Uh, we'll see. And a little duster offer thing. So... It's got instructions. I think I can figure it out. I got it together. This is fantastic. It's green, my favorite color. It's got a kickstand. I can't show you because it's on my phone. Um, but it's wonderful. It makes it feel much more substantial. And I love it. So thank you, Denise. I love this. I love it. And the baby chicks are going to love their chick starter. Look at good boy, Papa. I got to clean off that porch. Anyhow, I've been out looking at all those materials that I got. Oh my gosh, there's so much there. And there may be more that I can use once they get everything done. Um, so here's the plan. I, I want the main flock to be the Easter eggers and what's left of the Black Asians. And then I want a Bard Rock pen. And then I want a Leghorn pen. So, um, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I could build build another coop in a run with that stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I just, I'm not very good at it. So I'm trying to learn stuff from Seth and Lena. Um, but I'm excited. So I'm almost inclined to want to get started today, but it's, it's kind of like rainy outside, but at least it's cooled down a little bit. Oh, and I just gave the baby chicks their chick starter grower feed. Oh, they love it. They absolutely love it. Anyhow, so I, I need to find a location for the um, the other, I think it's going to be the Leghorns, and uh, kind of like start mapping things out. Um, I don't know if I have all of the stuff I need for it, but I think I've got a good start. You know what? I don't even need to build another coop. I have this. I keep forgetting about this. This is a wonderful coop. All I need to do is build... A bigger yard around it um, I'm not gonna make it all over there like I did last time I think what I'm gonna do is just build a little gate here um, so I can reach over and let them in and out and bring it out to about right here <laughs> that means I got to get this post up and then bring the yard out to I don't think I'm going to join it with the van. I'm going to leave a little space that I can walk in between the van. So bring it out to about right here. So their yard will be like where that post is to about right here. And then bring it. And this is just going to be for the lake horns. They're not very big. They don't need a lot of space. And then maybe bring it out to like around here. <laughs> I don't want to put it in that tree and then maybe just kind of catty corner it over here and just make it stop right here. Um, the one thing that I do need to do is I need to be able to get into this and um, open that big door. So there's going to have to be another like gate or door of some kind over here. But I think that that will give them, once I get everything moved out of the way, I think that will give them enough room. I don't know. I may extend it a little bit more. I'm not sure yet. But uh, there's not going to be a ton of leghorns in here. I mean, let's see. There's there's Mama. There is Dubby. There is the three new leghorns. So that's five chickens. That's plenty enough room for five chickens. Well, just having materials to do stuff makes me happy. And I've got quite a bit of material, so I think I'm going to be able to accomplish this Anyhow, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. <coughs> Romeo says goodnight.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.